Hello guys, it's Chris Dev here. In this video, I will show you how you can call a web API using HTTP client in Unity. A prerequisite for the video, you would need this DLL, for which I will include the link in the description. For demonstration purposes for this video, I have set up this web API project that is running locally on my machine. It has only one controller and inside it has two endpoints, register and login. The communication between the client and the server happens with data transfer objects. So let's say the registration endpoint, it receives the request. And the request is basically an object that contains the first name, last name, username and password. The request for the login in, it contains username and password only. And the server then returns responses to the client. And in, bo in both cases, I return just the user ID. When I register a new user, I add him to, to the database. So let's say yeah, this is my account. Yeah, Chris Dev and also, yeah, it, this is not a password cache. Just for testing purposes, I just write in the password as is. You never do that. For the front end part, I have set up this Unity project that basically calls to the two endpoints I have on the server. I have the register and I have the login. If I try to log in with an account that does not exist, I get an internal server error. If I log in with an account that exists, I get a successful login. So this is the class on the front end that handles sending requests and receiving responses back from the server. Currently it doesn't do anything because I deleted the method implementations so that I will write them again from scratch and show it and explain it to you how everything works. But basically those two methods, uh, the login method and the register method are called whenever the user presses the login button or the register button and these um, request objects are passed in as arguments. They contain whatever the user has put in into the input fields and when this request object is sent to the server, the server responds back with the response object. So in this case user register response which contains the ID of the newly registered user. Um, this is the server address uh, it's running locally on my machine uh, and these two addresses here these are the addresses of the endpoints on the server for, for login and register and this JSON serializer um, it's used to I mean no th these are just the settings um, these settings are used when I serialize the requests so that yeah it's formatted and it has a, a type name handling and that's about it let's get into coding and about this initialize method it's just like the unity start method or awake method it's called only once uh, it's not a part of unity it's a part of, a, of an external package that I'm using Zenject you can use the unity start method, it's, it's not a problem. Let us first start with the register method. First off, we take in the request and we serialize it into a JSON string. When we serialize the request, we use our serializer settings. Then we make an HTTP client. What is an HTTP client, you may ask? This is a class which enables us to send HTTP requests and receive HTTP responses from a server. Once we have a HTTP client object, we can use it to send a POST request to the server so that we can register our new user. As an address, you, we use um, the server address concatenated with uh, the register endpoint.
and we can see that the post uh, method it returns an HTTP response message and we need that so that we can use it later and we can just store it in the in the variable Oops. we can now check if uh, the HTTP response message it has a successful status code uh, but if it does not have a successful status code we will throw a new exception um, and we can put as a message the status code you can do a different thing you, if you want but in my case if something go wrong on the server yeah just throw an exception now that we have received the response back from the server we want to deserialize it into a user register response and return it back from the method this is how we read the the content of the response into a string but this would be a json string so now we need to deserialize it Okay, we deserialize it and we return it back. And just because we are going to deserialize a couple of times, I mean twice, when we log in as well, I made a method so that we don't have to repeat the codes uh, when reading and then deserializing. I just made a generic method that does it. Now let's do the login part. We again serialize the request. Let's make an HTTP client. Now I want to point out that the user register endpoint is, a, is an HTTP POST method. And in the register method, we say HTTP client dot POST async. But the user login endpoint is not an HTTP POST method, is an HTTP GET method. Let's see if we can we can call get async. So not post async now get async. But I cannot see an override where we can actually put our serialized request in. So it wouldn't work with get async. It would work with something else. Let's try with HTTP client dot send async. In this case it would work, but we would need uh, an object of type HTTP request message. So let's make one. In here, we put the type of the method, which is, as I said, HTTP method dot get. We put the address of the endpoint. And we put the content. Now, 
we send in the request message and we get back a response. Now, if you run this on a .NET Core, this would run without a problem. But since Unity does not use .NET Core, it uses Mono, this will throw an exception, a protocol violation exception. And there is a solution for that. And if you remember as a prerequisite for the video, I told you that you would need a DLL and you have to put it into the Unity plugins folder. So inside here, this DLL and after you put it in, you do this. You make a new win HTTP handler. And you pass it in as an argument when you make the HTTP client. And now this would work without a problem. Just a quick point out, after you download the NuGet package, you would need this version. So you take this D DLL and you put it in the plugins folder in Unity in your project. And then again, we check if it's success, if it's not new. And we deserialize the response. with this uh, method we made here. Now, after we're done with the coding part, let's see if we can actually code those two REST API endpoints. First, we'll make a new account. Okay, success. So we managed to call the register endpoint. If I try to log in, let's say with the wrong password. So, so not one, one, two, but one, three. We get an error. If we use the correct password, we have successful login. So we succeeded in calling the web API using HTTP client in Unity. That's all I had for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You can like and subscribe for more content. See you soon. Bye.